This tutorial shows how to create kinetic models in COPASI, the systems biology modeling and simulation software. We'll define a pathway with three reactions, a branched network with some feedback inhibition. Reaction 1 is represented with reversible non-competitive inhibition, species B being the inhibitor. Reaction 2 is represented with non-competitive inhibition with a second order effect, C is the inhibitor, and this is the equation. And the third reaction is simple michaelis menten uh, kinetics, irreversible. We also will have that species A, B, and C will be kept fixed. So when we start Copasi, we get the main window with the logo. Uh, because we're going to define the model, we need to go straight into the model part uh, here, first entry. And once we highlight model, we get a page for the main properties of the model, starting with the name. Let's call it just branched. Below we have units, units of time, volume, and quantity. Uh, I like to change the volume unit to be liter. So I know everything is a multiple of liter and millimole, so it's everything is in millimole per liter. Um, below we have a box which allows us to write any comments. This is really free text. You can write as much as you want, you can put references, etc. Once we've defined these main parts of the model, um, next we're going to go and define the actual thing. So we expand the tab that says model. And now below we have biochemical, mathematical and diagrams. To enter a model we have to enter it through the biochemical view. Um, we'll later see the mathematical view in a moment. So in the biochemical we have compartments, species, reactions, then global quantities and events which we'll not explain in this video and finally parameter of review which we'll touch briefly. So we start with compartments. Every model must have a compartment at least and Copasi always defines one with a one uh, with the unit volume. Let's call it cell just for the sake of giving it a new name. Now once we've uh, done that we double click that entry and now we get the detailed page for that particular compartment which we now call cell. Um, and at the moment it's empty, has nothing, it's one liter volume, let's set it to 1 E minus 12, so um, that's more realistic size for a cell. Next step after we've done compartments, usually it's to go to reactions. We leave species for later because by adding reactions we automatically enter most of the species, if not all. So when we go to reactions there's nothing there, there's one that says new reaction, we just have to um, Double click, rename it, let's call it reaction 1, R1. And now if we double click again, we get the page with details for that reaction. We start by adding it. Chemical reaction, if you remember, was A to X. Now we've used the equal sign, that means that the reaction is reversible, it can go in both directions. Note that also we've left one space between the letters, the names, and the equal sign and that's needed because otherwise equals would be included in the name and we do not want that. For a moment let's leave the rate law alone so we just define this first reaction we have two more so let's press new button and now second one R2 chemical reaction was X going to B. Now notice that I've used now a dash and a bigger than that means the reaction is irreversible rather than the previous one which had an equal sign that meant it was reversible. This way we don't have to tick anything, it, it will get done automatically. Note also that the uh, names are case sensitive so by writing an uppercase X uh, that's not the same as if I had written a lowercase X. Final reaction R3 and the, right, the equation is X again irreversible going to C. So we've got all reactions done. If we highlight reactions again here, we get the summary with their names, reaction 1, 2, 3, and their equations A to X, X to B, X to C. However, the rate laws all say mass action, so let's now go back and do the rate laws. Reaction 1. The rate law was non competitive inhibition. 
And of course, it was reversible Michaelis-Menten and with non-competitive inhibition. So non-competitive inhibition, it's here, it's on the list. If I want to see the rate law, I can put my mouse over that. And if I wait a little bit, the tooltip appears and that's the rate law for non-competitive inhibition. I could check it. Um, it's not the best place to check it. We'll see later on in functions we can see this better, but it's a quick reminder of it, what it is. So we now have the substrate being A, the product being X, so far so good. Inhibitor is not known yet. Copasi doesn't know what is the inhibitor for this reaction. It just knows there is one, so we have to tell it that it's B. And then below we have all of the numerical values of the constants, the parameters. They're all to a default value. Let's change here just the Vmax to be 10. And let's also make the Ki to be 0 0.01. Good, so we've done this first one. Uh, let's go for reaction 2. Reaction 2 is a bit more problematic because um, if you remember it was like a non-competitive inhibitor with, but with a second order effect and there is nothing with that name here. So we don't have an already existing rate law, we need to create it. So let's click the button new rate law. We have now a window to define a new rate law. Just notice that here on the left it is no longer under reactions, we are now under functions because that's where all the rate laws go. Now you could stick with the name rate law for R2 um, which is literally true, since we're going to give it um, to reaction 2, but we're actually going to call it something more descriptive. Non-competitive inhibition, uh, second order. And just to remind ourselves that this is irreversible, let's stick that in there too. So now we have to write the formula. And the formula, if I remember correctly, was V times S over KM, that's our numerator. Notice that the window changed from pink to blue. It's pink when the mathematical expression is unfinished and not therefore not correct. It's blue when there is a correct mathematical expression. Of course, that is not to say that it's the final one. Only we can know what is the final one. So we just have the numerator. Let's go to the denominator. And that had two terms. The first term was 1 plus S over Km. And then that multiplied by 1 plus i over ki raised to the power of 2. We close this one, we close the next, and that's finished, and it's blue, so it means it's correct, at least mathematically correct. We now need to tell it that uh, this is for reactions that are irreversible. Already says only reversible reactions, and at the moment it says no substrate, because it doesn't know about any substrate yet. We have all the symbols displayed down here, and we have to tell Copasi what these symbols are. They could be parameters, which uh, Vmax is a parameter, so we're just going to leave it like that. S is not a parameter, it's actually the substrate. So let's check, and there is an entry for substrates. Km is a parameter, and then there's another Km. See, this is where it's case sensitive, so I've made a mistake. I've put two different symbols there. We don't want that, so we go back and we have to edit the reaction. So we delete this and write KM. It's been edited, and now there's only one KM here on the list, which is good. KM is a parameter, so we're going to leave it. I is an inhibitor, therefore that means it's a modifier, so we have to select modifier. And finally, KI is also a parameter. So that's it. We've got the rate law defined. We press commit and then Copasi displays the rate law with a nice rendering here of the function. And we're ready to go and assign it to the reaction 2. So we go back to reactions, reaction 2. And now if we choose here rate law, there should be an entry for our rate law. And there it is, competitive inhibition second order. And um, we have V being the maximal rate. Let's change it to the value of 2. The constant X is the substrate. We can't change that. That's only one substrate here. Km, let's leave Km alone. And now we have to tell, um, indicate which one is the inhibitor for this. And the inhibitor for this was C. 
and uh, let's leave the Ki alone for this time. And here we have reaction 2 is now ready. So we just have reaction 3 left. Reaction 3 was just plain standard irreversible Michaelis Menten, which is also called Henri Michaelis Menten uh, in honor of Henri, which was really the first person to describe this kinetic type. Now here we only have a substrate and we have two values of parameters, Km and V. Let's change V to be value 2. So we're, we're good with this. We have all the reactions defined. If I highlight reactions, I have, a, again, a summary. This time I have all the right names, the right equations, and also the right rate laws. So I've got all reactions defined. Let's look at species. Because I've entered my chemical reactions and they included species, they've been added automatically. So here they are, A, X, B, and C, they've all been added. I don't have to type them in. However, I need to tell the program that A, B, and C are fixed. And maybe I need to change their initial concentrations as well. So let's double-click A. We get, again, a detailed form for A. It is in the compartment called cell, that's correct, but it is not a... I don't want A to be affected by reactions. We want it to be fixed concentration, so we just have to choose fixed. And the initial concentration is good. It could be one millimolar. We go next to B. B needs also to be fixed. However, in this case, let's make it 0 0.1 millimolar. Same thing with B. Uh, sorry, with C. Fixed. And 0 0.1 millimolar. Finally, we have X. X is correctly a variable of the model. Therefore, it's um, defined by reactions. However, we wanted to start with a value of zero, so that we start with an empty vessel. Um, interestingly, below here, this might be of use, particularly in large models. We have this bottom window, bottom box, lists all the reactions where this species X is involved. So we have all three reactions, since it participates in all three of them. As I said, in large models, this could be very useful, because we could have a big list of all the reactions that a certain species enters. So, we've defined our reactions, compartments, and species. The model is ready. We can just now examine all of the parameters of the model in parameter overview. If I select parameter overview, I now have everything there here. I have the initial concentrations, all of them. These are parameters, of course. I have the volume of the cell, which is a parameter since it's fixed. I have all kinetic parameters for reaction 1 all kinetic parameters of reaction 2, and all kinetic parameters of reaction 3. So this page lists all the numbers that affect the model. All of the parameters of the model are here. Notice the kinetic constants, Kopasi was able to guess the units for them, except this one here, and that's because it enters in the equation with the power, and Kopasi is not very easy, cannot at the moment uh, detect what is really the units when there is a power. So our model is finally defined. Let's save it. File save. Save as in this case. It's the first time we're saving. Let's call it branched. And that should be it. Now if you remember I said there are also entries for mathematical view of the model. In this case the mathematical view is composed of differential equations and matrices. And now I've chose differential equations here is the differential equation of this model. There's only one, of course, because there's only one variable that changes. And if you want to now save this formula, you can save it as MathML, which is an XML format for mathematics, or in LaTeX format, which you will find useful if you're writing your models using your papers using LaTeX. You might need to include all the differential equations in your appendix, and this is quite a lifesaver to be able to do that. I just saved the file that defines this in LaTeX. And that's it. We've defined our model, branched pathway, with one compartment, four species, and three reactions. And we've saved this, and our model is ready to go. Thank you for your interest in Kopasi, and happy modeling.